So hello, we are uh, here today with Anne-Claude Jingras, PhD senior investigator from the Lindenfield Tenenbaum Research Institute at Mount Sinai Hospital in Canada. So she's here with us uh, for the ASMS conference in Baltimore. So thank you very much for your time. Your okay. time. Um, so I'm going to ask you some questions. The first, of, uh, the first one is your vision for proteomics. So what are some of the answers in science that proteomics is addressing and how is this contributing to life for humanity? Big question. Right, so, so I think proteomics is at its best when it's actually looking at the activity of proteins. So this is something that genomics cannot even you know, dream to attain. So we're really interested in using proteomics for uh, finding new protein function, post-translational modification, and essentially like the underpinning of, of cells. And so how that addresses question for humanity is we can look at disease state and healthy states and essentially try to understand what is the functional difference between those, those two states. So I think proteomics has a lot to play, a bright future ahead of itself, essentially. Okay, great. Uh, my second question is, um, what is the focus of your research and what answers do you hope to find? Yeah, this is very related to the first question. The focus of my research is, is actually to understand signaling pathway and how signals from the outside of the cells actually control the, the downstream activity and the decision that the cell will make. So what we're interested in figuring out is how proteins interact with each other to control those, those processes. So we're looking at signaling cascades, we're looking at the interplay between enzymes such as kinases that add phosphorylation group mm -hmm. and phosphatase that remove them, and similar things with the acetylation machinery. We're looking at both on-off phosphorylation and the phosphorecognition or the acetyl recognition by dedicated protein domains. So this is essentially the big picture focus. Mm -hmm. In terms of disease, we're applying that mostly to cancer and to vascular diseases. Okay. Thank you. And um, the other question, the last one, how has AB Science technology contributed to your research objectives? Well, we're very fortunate in Toronto to be located near the research arm of SciEx, which is in Concord. And so we've been working together very closely with, with the team in, in, in the research group, especially with Steve Tate, to actually develop solution using mostly the 5600 platform mm -hmm. to, to uh, answer our research objective. And we've done all kinds of different projects that include both uh, data dependent acquisition, but more recently, we've invested a lot of effort in developing SWOT for interaction proteomics together with AB Science. So for us, it's been a very positive uh, interaction. And again, we're very fortunate to have uh, this proximal location yeah. to, to the group in Concord. So it's been really positive for us. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. So um, we can toast <laughs> <laughs> cheers thank you for the conference thank you very much, much.